Ted Cruz having multiple affairs. Trump's sister going to be his pick, even though he didn't say so, says Cruz. John Kasich, survival strategy. Are you kidding me? Don Lemon cuts his show to a commercial after Amorosa dodges a question about Trump. This is what our political process has come down to. Just a complete and utter joke. The the big problem with all this, other than that it's humiliating, it's beneath the dignity of the office and those things, is that Hillary Clinton, the likely Democratic nominee, is being given the opportunity to ride into the sunset and not look at the things that uh, she has that should be facing her. Think about, and I heard somebody else say this, so this isn't an original thought of mine. Think about if all the millions of dollars that have been spent by super PACs and, and everything to attack one another in this uh, primary process had been used to attack Hillary Clinton and her lousy record, her criminal behavior, and those things. What, what if that money had been used that way? Uh, it, it's just amazing to me that this is where we are in uh, the political process. Uh, of course, the story comes from the wonderfully, um, what word do I want to use? The wonderfully uh, accurate <clears throat> quotes, uh, National Enquirer, Cruz blamed Trump and his henchmen for the National Enquirer story, accusing him of affairs with five women. Trump issued a statement saying he had absolutely nothing to do with it. I was watching uh, an interview uh, on a video here just a few minutes ago, and the lady from Trump's side accused the lady from Cruz's side that was being interviewed together of being one of the five. She was out in there right there on CNN. So crazy things. And, and you know, it's not all Trump doing the crazy things. Um, this was a few weeks ago, and Cruz just kind of grabbing into thin air, saying that uh, Republicans can't count on Donald Trump to appoint a conservative Supreme Court justice. Uh, Trump had jokingly said previously that um, uh, he had suggested he would nominate his sister, uh, but it wasn't serious about the issue. Uh, down here a little bit farther. Uh, he said that... that uh, <laughs> well, it just shows right here that it was kind of fed to him. Um, back in August, Bloomberg's reporter asked Trump if there was anyone he would consider for the court if the opportunity came up. Trump declined to name specific people, but then asked, how about your sister? I think she would be phenomenal. I think she would be one of the best, but frankly, I think she is. We'll have to rule that out now, at least temporarily. Uh, then, of course, Cruz makes the statement that she is a liberal, uh, pro-choice judge, and if you read the article, it shows that uh, she actually never has come out and, and said what she planned to do. Uh, we go to the Kasich and it's go time. Let, let's just say this. The only reason that Kasich would stay in the race at this point is to try to win a few delegates to um, keep them from Trump and so that we can have a brokered convention. And speaking of brokered conventions, we've got Scott Walker saying, if we go to a brokered convention, odds are the nominee will be someone who's not currently running. So the will of the people who have voted throughout the primary process 
would not be adhered to. I'm just shaking my head. Ed from the Ed Boston Podcast. Take care.